Welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, Doctor of Common Sense. Now, there's been a lot of stories, and you've heard them by now, ever since this uh, act of, <clears throat> by the name of uh, Christian uh, uh, Keys came out, and he says that there's a billionaire who has uh, uh, propositioned him and grabbed his stuff. And this dude tries to climb into bed with you. So you spaz out, push him out, like, what the fuck? Get ready. Even one time, man showed up at his house, offered him $100,000 in order if he just take off all his clothes. That he showed up to my apartment and offered me a hundred grand to take my clothes off. He said, I don't even need to touch you. I just want to see you naked. Now, Chris and he didn't whoop the nigga after he asked him that. Because nothing would give you a better ass whooping than coming to my house with that. It doesn't need to hear that. Now, some have been a lot of speculations, Tyler Perry. You, you, you heard the rumors, a lot of people think it's Tyler Perry. I haven't seen any evidence from Christian Keith. This doesn't mean it's not true, but I haven't seen one shred of evidence. It's pure speculations even though I think Tyler Perry is suspect. And all of this has now brought up T.D. Jakes. Now, you remember the one time, before we get to that story, remember the one time that Tyler Perry came up on stage, he bragged about the Lord told him to give a million dollars. Well, the Lord told you to give me five million dollars if that's the case. So I didn't even know that he was he was trying to build this youth center. I didn't even know it, but I know how important the youth are. So we were sitting in the service, and I leaned up toward him and I said, "I've just been touched to give a million dollars." So as when you show up at my house trying to tell me to take my clothes off, you're gonna get hands laid on you and not a holy way. I guarantee you that. But there was one incident in church that. Uh, Tyler Perry went up. He was giving his testimony, allegedly. And he was telling something, saying something to T.D. Jakes. And T.D. Jakes, you notice on the video that T.D. Jakes starts walking towards him because he's begging him to touch him. And so he touches him, and he acting like he got the Holy Ghost. He got the homo ghost. He didn't get the Holy Ghost. It was the homo ghost he got. I pray right now that you will continue to do everything you're doing. I pray his anointing will stay upon you. I pray the power of God all over you. I pray his favor. I pray the blood of Jesus will come upon you right now. Keep you in his hair. God, I thank you for your blessings. And he started shaking. And then uh, Tyler Perry leaves the stage. He gives the microphone to some woman. And she still says, he's birthing that baby out. He's birthing that baby out. Come on, somebody give God some praise. He's pushing that baby out. Come on, he's pushing that baby out. Somebody holla, push. Push. Now come on and praise him. And T.D. Jakes is acting like he's he's having a conumption fit, looking like a big black walrus or something. But ain't the main thing I really want to talk about. The main I said all that to get to this point right here. T.D. Jakes has been accused of hanging out with P.D. Now, technically, he hadn't really addressed the issue, but he's been accused of hanging out with P.D. Could somebody give me, who goes to T.D. Jakes' uh, church, could you give me a good reason? T.D. Jakes will be hanging out with P. Diddy. I know he, he did the funeral for P. Diddy's, uh, quote, girlfriend, Kim Porter, which is suspect, too, because I heard that the person who did the autopsy, he came up dead. Now, the first person got taken off the autopsy because he probably was finding some, and then the person who did the autopsy, he came up dead, too. But why was T.D. Jakes hanging out with P. Diddy? Not on one occasion. There's many pictures showing T.D. Jakes Hanging out with P. Diddy. Now, I know he may think he's Jesus, and Jesus hung out with sinners. Nothing wrong with that. But he's going to his parties and everything else 
and it just looks suspe suspicious to me. I didn't see any incidents where T.D. Jakes were, was preaching the gospel to P. Diddy, because P. Diddy don't want to hear the gospel. But he was hanging out with him, and all types of accusations have been coming up now. And some have said that there's been some uh, some tapes and some evidence, some hard drives have been turned over to the authorities after the Cassidy settlement case. And some believe that T.D. Jakes is on there. Now, I don't have any evidence to prove that. I'm just going by what the accusations is. It could be all a lot. But I'm going to tell you something before we get to that. T.D. Jakes stood up in the church and he says he's not going to stand on this sacred day. He's not going to stand in the pulpit and address a lie when he can speak the truth. I will not use this sacred day at this sacred pulpit to address a lie when I have a chance to preach a truth. He said, if you logged in, in order to hear these vicious lies, you can log off. Some of you logged in or come in out of concern. Some of you come in to hear what I'm going to say. All of you who expect me to address a lie, you can log off. Hmm. But that's not addressing if you did, because it is, the, 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 the question should be, hell no, I haven't done it. That don't take you, your lawyers ain't, can't tell you not to say, hell no, I didn't do it. He never said that. But you know what this reminds me of? You remember Eddie Long? Now, I know T.D. Jakes and Eddie Long were friends. When Eddie Long was accused of molesting those boys in his church, putting them on the private jet and everything else, Eddie Long came up on stage. He did the same thing. His congregation was clapping for him. They were pumping him up. Praise the Lord. Oh, he. But he said some interesting. He never really addressed it. He said he was under attack. And he says that he's never claimed to be a perfect man. I have never in my life portrayed myself as a perfect man. But I am not the man that's being portrayed on the television. But the things they're accusing him of, he did not do. He later on settled with the boys because he didn't want to fight it in the public. At first he said he was going to fight it. Then he settled it. By the counsel of my lawyers, they have not advised me not to try this case in the media. I am not going to try this case in the media. Uh, it will be tried in the court of justice. But you but, but, man, forgot, some of the boys started talking. One of them came out and said he was constantly molesting him. He could have to take showers to get the smell of Eddie Long off him, his cologne. Churches. I cannot get the sound of his voice out of my head. And I cannot forget the smell of his cologne. And I cannot forget the way that he made me cry many nights when I drove in his cars on the way home, not able to take enough showers to wipe the smell of him off of my body. As teens, Paris and three other young men claim Long adopted them as his spiritual sons, then exploited them. Their civil suits allege Long used scripture, cars, jewelry, and trips on his private plane in a sexual seduction. That's not a father. That's a predator. Yes, you are now, I say all the that to say. T.D. Jakes did not address, as a matter of fact, he sounded kind of like Eddie Long when he was addressing this particular situation. I just don't know why T.D. Jakes would possibly be hanging out with P. Diddy in the first damn place. Give me a good reason why T.D. Jakes, not only just on one occasion, on many occasions he's hanging out with him. And he really did not say he didn't do it. He just says he's not going to address it. I will not use this sacred day at this sacred pulpit to address a lie when I have a chance to preach a truth. You can't do this 50 years that I've been in a fight. I've been in a storm. I've been up under attack. I'm fine. He that is with me is more than all those that are against me. I'm fine. Well, why even say something if you're not going to address it? If you're not going to address it all the way, shed your freaking mouth about it. Because you did address it. You addressed it on a couple of different occasions. You say you want to address it 
in there. Don't address it then. Do not address it at all then. So talk to my lawyer. And they gave a public statement. And public statements went surrounded about talking about a lie, how a lie travels fast, and it does. And I want to clarify, so I want to be very clear. There's a bunch of accusations out there. Usually when there's a bunch of smoke, there's usually a fire. I'm not saying we have any concrete evidence because I've seen people making all kinds of accusations, but I haven't seen any evidence. But it is very suspicious on how he addressed it. And it's very suspicious on why is he hanging around PD in the first place. Only thing that goes on at the PD part, uh, the PD party, might as well call it, PD party is, is sex and they're doing money. So which reason was he there? Was he there for money? And why was he there for money if he's a man of God? And the other reason he could be, because somebody said he's a power bottom. I don't know what that means. I don't know if it means he's twerking on somebody or what. He likes to be on the bottom. I don't understand this kind of vernacular, but it doesn't sound very, very good. It doesn't sound very, very uh, godly, if you ask me. Why is he hanging out with P.D., going to his party, his house, and everything else? He was not preaching the gospel to P.D. But P.D. don't want to hear that. But you got to ask yourself, if you go to T.D. Jake's church, why is he constantly hanging out? You can go see all kind of pictures of him hanging out with P.D. And the way he addressed it is the same way Eddie Long addressed it. It's suspect. That's all I'm saying. The whole thing is suspect to me. So we're going to be staying on it. If the truth comes out, I'm going to report the truth. If they, we find out they're lying, I'm going to say they're lying. Now, the, the Christian Keys fella, who's supposed to been bringing this story out a long time ago, the, the, statutory, the, the statute of limitations has ran out on him anyway. So the most he can do is just expose them. And if he really has the facts, why not just come out and expose them since you let the statutory limitation run out? I don't understand his mindset, what he's doing. Looks like he's vying for attention. Looks like he may have liked the attention because fellow shows up your house, offers you $100,000 to take clothes off, and you don't whoop him, a pistol whip him or something. I'm going to start being suspicious because any damn fool, I don't care how big you are, how bad you think you show up my house, Tell me to take my clothes off. It's going to be a problem. One of us is going to leave there in, 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 a, in a freaking uh, hearse. Because you're not coming out disrespecting me like that. I'm just saying it's a little suspicious to me. So we're going to keep up with this story. Because the big the, the big bishop, uh, the black warriors, is now not really addressing the, the situation. So if he settles it like, like Eddie Long did, Eddie Long was talking tough, said he was David. Against Goliath, he had five stones. He says he ain't threw nail yet. He never threw the damn stone. David threw the stones. You didn't throw no stones. So quit pretending. All these down low people. Every time one of this scandal come up with these people, it's always with other men or boys or something. I'm just saying. Notice none of them have been accused of anything with a woman. They've been accused of being down lows, molesters, perverts, pedos, and everything else. And if he's hanging out with P. Diddy, it's something very, very suspicious about that, in my humble opinion.